Welcome back to Game Development with Pygame. This is part 16 of our zombie top-down shooter game. Uh, and in this video, we're going to be adding items to the game. Okay, so we're going to start adding some items that we can pick up. And so I went on to Open Game Art, and I found this, um, this tile set, which has some really nice icons for various zombie-related things. Um, I don't think we'll use all of these probably, but I do. I did like this little health kit here for this can be our health pickup. So this is what this. So this image is what we're going to use for our health item that we're going to spawn. Okay, so we just need to load that picture, and so we're going to go over here to our settings file, and we're going to start uh, defining some item properties. Um, now, eventually we're going to have different kinds of items that we're going to spawn. So planning ahead for that, I'm going to make a just a dictionary that's going to list all the different item images that we, we might have. So the one for health is going to be healthpack.png. Okay, and I've put that in the images folder so that we can load it, and later we can add other types of item images here. And so now we just need to go over into our load data and make sure we load that. So we will go and add to our load data here. We're going to say um, for item in item images. Um, oh, we need a list to hold them in. So this is going to be a dictionary as well. Okay, so we're going to say item images item is going to be load um, and then we're going to path.join the image folder with the item uh, or sorry, with the item name which is in that dictionary uh, dot convert okay and then we have what we need okay now we need to go over and define the sprite for this okay we'll start with a generic sprite uh, called item and if you're wondering how I did this, uh, this is an atom feature. It's just basically called a snippet. You can set up um, little shortcuts that'll automatically paste in a chunk of code for you. Um, if you ever want to see how that works, if you go up to your menu, you can look at your snippets. And here is where I've defined the snippets. And this just says if I type in the word sprite, it's going to replace it with this code. And I'll include a link below uh, to the documentation for how you set up a uh, an Atom snippet if you're interested, uh, but I'm not going to spend this video talking about that. But so we have a so we have an item class and we want that item to let's see, we are going to pass it a position so when it finds it in the map file it knows where to spawn it and we're gonna have a type what type of item this is right is it a health pack is it a weapon uh, something like that and then the groups we're gonna have and game.items group which we better go ahead and add while we're thinking about it so in def new we can create our items group um, oops, and then now we can set our image, and our image is just going to be um, the matching image for whatever type we're using. Um, we're going to store what type we have so we can keep that handy. Um, oh, I just noticed I didn't do, oops, let's see, where do I want to put this? So if the game is game, I want to have that there. All right, 
point we've got our type we're going to set our rect center at the position that we said to put it at and I think that is it to start with okay so now we can go over to our tile map loading code and create one of these things whenever we detect one of them in the tile map. So if we go over to there, so here's where we're finding our players and our walls and our obstacles and so on. And actually let's go over to our tile map, uh, our tiled map for a second first. So here we're just going to add another object to our uh, obstacles layer and um, we're going to make that be where we want our health pack to spawn. So I'm just going to copy this player one for the moment. I just want to make my, I'm just going to make the health pack spawn right here, right by where we, we spawn because I want to be able to test it out and this isn't going to be a good permanent location for it, but it's good enough. So we're going to call this health. So now we know we're going to spawn a health right here in this square. So now we can go back over to here and we can look for spawning it. Ah, but before we do that, I want to point out one other thing. If you notice when we run this game, see how the player is spawning right there? But in the map, I have him centered on this square. That's because when we read the map file, we're finding the X and Y of the object. That's this corner right here, right? So if I want the player centered in the square, I can do that, right? Or to be a little bit cleaner, we can say use, we can change it so we're using the center of the box, like when we spawn the zombie over here and anything else. That way I can know that I'm going to be standing where I expect it to be or where it looks like I am when it's drawn on the map. So let's go over here and, and set our, we're going to calculate the object center, okay? And that's just going to be the tile object x plus its width divided by 2. And then the tile object's y plus the height divided by 2. Okay, so we do that. And let's make this a little cleaner. There we go. Now we can just spawn it at the object center instead of, right? So we can spawn this at the object center, X and Y. And we spawn the zombie at the object center dot Y. Okay, X and Y, I mean. So that's a little better. So now when we run it, yeah, see, I'm standing at the center of the square. Okay, so let's spawn our health item. So here, if, if the tile object name, and I'm going to list in here, it's, it's in this list of items that it could be. So we'll just add other types of items that we might find. Okay, so, but if it's a health, then we're going to spawn an item and pass it the game. The position is just going to be object center and the type is going to be tile object dot name, right? So the name is health, it's going to pass it health as the type and when it spawns the item over here, the type will be set to health, it'll load the health picture. So there we go. Okay, so there's the little health pack ready for us to go and pick up. So I just noticed one other thing we want to do is let's add an items layer uh, for where we're going to draw the items. So we make sure that they're being drawn below the player. Uh, so we can go here to our class item. Another little thing that I need to so layer equals items layer. Okay. So that way we're sure that when we 
draw things, the player will be above the item, and so will the zombies. Nothing will be covered up by the items. Okay, so let's pick it up. So down here we're going to add a little collision check. Player hits items. So we're going to use Sprite Collide here between the self.player items. And now should we do true or false? Well, you'd think we might want to do true here because when we run over the sprite, we want to pick it up. So we're going to want to delete it. But what if our health is full? If our health is full, I don't want to pick up the health pack. I want it to stay there. So if I have health less than zero, I'm going to leave it. So let's not delete it here. What we'll do is say if we hit one, so if hit.type equals health, so if we hit a health pack and our and the player's health is less than whatever its maximum is, okay? So if we have less than maximum health, then we'll delete it and we will add to the player's health. So I'm going to make a function in the player called add health and it's going to add however much a health pack is worth. Health pack amount. So we go over here and set that uh, let's say 20. So we're going to add health 20. So we'll go over to sprites here, and in the player, we're going to add a function for that, for whatever amount. So we're going to take our health plus equals amount. But if health is greater than our maximum health, then we're going to cap it at that. Okay, so if we get too much that way now, oops, let me go over to the main. My health is full. I should not be able to pick it up. But if I let the zombie hit me a couple times, now I picked it up and I'm healed. Okay, very nice. Let's look at that again. Now, one thing we might want to do or one thing else that we might want to do with items is make them stand out a little bit more. Um, right now they're sort of, they could blend into the background depending on where they are. If they're in a busy room or something, it might be hard to spot that they're not part of the background. So what I'd like to do is make the health items just bob up and down a little bit. But for that we need to tackle a new topic called easing and we're already getting kind of long for this video so i will take that to the next video as always thanks so much for watching and subscribing if you hit the like button below i'd really appreciate it it helps us find more subscribers and get more people uh, learning pygame thanks and i'll see you in the next video